Hi there, it's Pastor John here. I've dressed up with a bow tie for you. All right, um, I want to tell you about when I was a kid, and there would be times where I'd be really sad. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be crying uh, um, for no reason, because I was a little baby. <laughs> and one of the favorite games that they used to play to make me laugh was a game maybe you like, maybe a game that you have played, maybe a game that you've played with another baby. It, it goes like this. I'm going to play it with you, okay? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! You know that game, don't you? Peekaboo! And it brings so much joy when when the baby's watching and you cover your eyes like they can't see you and then all of a sudden, peekaboo! And then they can see you. I love that game. It brings so much joy and it made me laugh and made me smile. It was so wonderful. Peekaboo! Yeah, I love it. Now, today in the Gospel lesson, there are uh, two people, they're walking to their house, and Jesus meets them on the road, but they don't recognize that it's Jesus. And then they keep walking, and Jesus asks them some, some questions, and they're talking, and they get to the house, and they invite this person in, who is Jesus, they invite him in, and Jesus around the table takes bread and breaks it, and they share a meal. And in that meal, they recognize that it's Jesus, and they are so excited to see him. They're so full of joy. It's like when I'm playing that game, peekaboo, and they're, they're all excited, and they go back. I mean, they've just taken this trip to their house, and they're so excited that they leave that very minute, and they go and they find their friends, to tell them that they have seen, peekaboo, that they have seen Jesus. Yeah, and that joy, I bet their joy at seeing Jesus, it was, uh, was more than when I played the game peekaboo. And when I would laugh and I would giggle, and you know, there is something about giving, going peekaboo, being the one that sees that, but also the one to play the game, that you're the one doing it and to see the joy. You know what, this week, Maybe you can help someone see joy in something, that you can help bring happiness to someone, that you could help play a game in which they, their day is brightened. You can go peekaboo, or you can empty the dishwasher, or you can call a relative, or you can FaceTime a friend, or you can Instagram a story about something that has brightened your day. And then you can help someone else see joy, and in that, they see Jesus. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be great? You know what? You know what's going to bring me a lot of joy? Is when I can see you all again face to face. You know what, though? If you want, if, if we know each other and your parents say it's okay, you can Zoom me. We can have a FaceTime conversation. We can say hello to each other. I'm okay with that. Your parents have got to be okay with it, but they probably will be. I miss you guys so much. Um, there are so, I, I just have that image of, of us sitting around in front of the altar with all of you coming up. Dylan and Austin, Daphne and Maddie, William behind me, Caitlin over here, Elijah and Delaney. With all kinds of people all of you coming up. I'm just seeing all the different faces and the people that are sitting near me, and I miss you so much. That will bring joy to my heart, but I know, I know as Carter comes running up, I know as I ask Elijah, who does God love? And Elijah says, all of you. That brings joy to my heart. So I can't wait to see you. I will talk to you later. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you at church tomorrow. Live streamed from your house, but know that I'll be watching. I'll be joy-filled, and I hope you are as well. See you later. Love you. Bye.